Welcome back to this week's prayer time. And once again, I'm really pleased to be able to share this time with you and lead us in this time of prayer. Um, this first prayer comes from Tear Fund Australia and was written by Emma Helgren. And it's around creation and uh, the world in which we live. So let us pray. Holy God, you are the creator of the earth and all that is in it, the whole interconnected web of life of which we are a part. Thank you for this earth, our home, and for this land we call Australia. We sing in gratitude for the beauty of our country, for fresh air, wind and rain, for wide skies and dense bush, vast deserts, flame-red rocks, for rivers, oceans and lakes all brimming with life, for the unique animals, fish, birds, insects and reptiles for whom this country is also home. We give thanks for the beauty in our everyday, the bird song that we wake to in the morning the scent of eucalyptus in the air as we walk, the crunch of fallen leaves underfoot, the quiet growth and change that is taking place deep in the soil as the days grow cooler and cold and the nights draw in. Loving God, in silence we think of that particular place in nature in Australia that we have named or shared today that is especially dear to us, the places that we love to visit, the places where we feel at peace and at home. Thank you for what it means to us, for the way that these places move us, speak to us, connect us to you, and they remind us of the wonder of all of your creation. God of wisdom, thank you that you've entrusted us with the care of this beautiful earth. Help us to care for it well. As the Federal Parliament meets, we think of the Parliament that has been formed, this new Parliament, the mix of people who form it, each with their own priorities, passions and concerns, each from such diverse backgrounds. Among the myriad of issues that they will need to deal with, we pray that Australia's politicians will be mindful of the need to protect our earth and safeguard it for future generations. May they make decisions that will help to protect the nat natural environment, the places and creatures that we love, and the whole interconnected web of life. Loving God, creator of every place we inhabit, you made the world in beauty and restore all things in glory. That our hearts be open to the beauty that flow, glows bright in the world around us, to the land we live in that sustains us, inspires us, replenishes us and feeds our souls. We pray together. Amen. I've been mindful of the Gama Festival up in the Northern Territory where the Prime Minister spoke just on the weekend and where Aboriginal people travel to from all different parts of Australia. And so this first prayer is a prayer for reconciliation written by an Aboriginal elder, written by Aboriginal elder women. Let us pray. God of all creation, as we journey together in this great southern land, we pray for healing, forgiveness and unity creating a path of goodwill with justice and compassion. Jesus, through the power of your love, you've given us the courage, wisdom and strength to share our gifts and talents in humility. In peace and understanding, we reconcile with each other. Create a spirit, we come together in prayer and thanksgiving for the many blessings we've received. Allow your spirit to wash over us and give us strength to walk together as one. Amen. And this second prayer is a prayer for Indigenous Australians 
and it comes from a collection of prayers from the Anglican Church. Creator God, you made from one person all nations and determined where each should live. We bring before you the indigenous people of Australia. We acknowledge the history that has damaged the relationships between them and later arrivals to this land. Thank you for the steps that have been taken on this journey toward reconciliation. Deepen this process among us. Guide national and community leaders to speak the truth in love, to seek justice with mercy and to care for those who are disadvantaged. Strengthen Indigenous church leaders to shepherd your flock faithfully and strengthen all Indigenous Christians to be salt and light in their communities and in the whole nation. Give to Indigenous and non-Indigenous people grace to be one family of people from diverse backgrounds. We long for a time when every nation, tribe and language and people are one. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue in prayer. Loving God, we are very mindful that the COVID pandemic is still among us. People we know are being infected with COVID, being sick. People are in hospital. Hospitals are to continue to be stretched. Medical resources, aged care continue to be stretched. Schools face challenges as well. Lord, we pray for our community, for our health workers and health institutions, education institutions, businesses, families, everywhere COVID is impacting. We pray for those people. We pray for healing. We pray for strength. We pray for great wisdom and a real care and a desire to support one another. Lord, we continue to be troubled by what we hear of happening in Ukraine. We pray, Lord, for peace, for a lasting peace, for justice, and for an end to violence and war and brutality. Lord, help us to turn this situation around. Strengthen those who work to bring peace, stability, and reconciliation within that region. And we pray too in our own land with inflation pushing prices up and interest rates going up. We pray for those individuals and families that are facing economic hardship, tough times, who are struggling to be able to maintain a roof over their head, to be able to feed their families. We pray for them and for the agencies who support them. Help us to be supportive of one another. And we pray for your church, that your church may be faithful, may be a beacon of hope, and may be salt and light in the community. Help us to share your love with all the people we meet. Help us to be able to be there for one another. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for joining me in this time of prayer. Really appreciate your support. Really appreciate you being there. And may God bless you as you move further into your week and days ahead. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>